New polling shows Democrat Michelle Lujan Grisham pulling away from her opponent in the hotly contested race for Congress in New Mexico's first district. But Republican Janice Arnold Jones insists the race is a lot closer than the pollsters think. Stuart Dyson is in our newsroom with the latest from the campaign trail. Stu. Tom, Arnold Jones with less money and little party support is fighting uphill against the better funded Lujan Grisham. With 26 days to go, this race is not over. My priorities will Conservative be feminist Janice Arnold sure Jones, a born competitor, trailing Lujan Grisham by 15 points. But hey, that mix. poll is from the Democrats' own campaign. Arnold Jones people taking it with a pound of salt. For us, it has always been the ground game. We have to get people to the polls, and we knew that we would not have as much money as anybody else. So our only weapon, literally, was that face to face interaction, and that is exactly what we're doing. Still, Lujan Grisham led by a dozen points in the journal poll a month ago. She likes her own polling, too. You know, I think it motivates all the folks who our messages are resonating with, right? You want champions for the middle class. We want to make sure that we're protecting women's rights in this Congress. We want to put New Mexicans back to work. You know, those messages, I think, are really resonating. I'm Janice Arnold-Jones. I'm Michelle Lujan Grisham. TV ads are one thing. Both candidates like campaigning the old-fashioned way. You know, when you really want to hear what the problems are in America and in New Mexico, you have to be at the front door and they will tell you exactly where the problem is. And if you listen, they'll tell you how to fix it. I spent yesterday all day in Torrance County. I was going door to door. I was at the community center. I was at the barber shops and the restaurants. You know, I, uh, I want people to really get a sense that I know what it takes to work for you. There you go. It's old school politics. The preference for both of those gals. They meet in debate right here on KLB TV one week from tonight, 7 p.m., live from Sandia High School next Thursday night. Tom, I'll see you there.